It's just a static electricity It's so smooth and sweet as sand Your lips are light What's up everybody, this is Kai and thank you for joining me for another gaming video. I know I haven't done a video for so long. The funny thing is I actually did do a video recording and I just decided not to upload the video because it was a game that I just didn't enjoy very much. Um, you know, no hate or disrespect to the game. Um, it was a good game, it's just not my kind of thing. And I didn't think it would make for very good watching um, I also felt kind of awkward playing it and that comes across quite a lot in the video so who knows I might upload that as a joke or bloopers or something like that uh, maybe if we get to 200 subscribers but the main focus today is saying thank you to all of you who have subscribed I reached 100 subscribers which is really a huge milestone for me um, I know it is the first of many hopefully especially since I'm quite a casual YouTube uploader um, I don't really get around to making many videos primarily because I want to do videos that I find exciting and interesting and sometimes the game that I'm playing not really um, so anyway sit back relax today I'm going to show you a game called Empyrean Galactic Survival and we are going to go through a little bit of the game that I've done so far on my server on my discord server the link will be in the description and feel free to join my discord uh, you can also join this imperium server that i'm running hosted by g portal if you would like uh, there is no fee to joining uh, my servers just uh, tell your friends all right so without further ado let's get into it shall we all right so we're playing on my server which we've already put quite a few hours in um and basically what you need to do is when you start out you come crashing down to the planet in an escape pod and from there you need to mine and grind and really graft your way um, up in stages uh, which I'm not going to show you now I think that's maybe going to take a little bit too long so instead what I'll show you is what I do have and what everything does in case this is your kind of game um, so right off the bat um, I've got a little base here I'll just show you on the map and you can see on the map there's all sorts of um, waypoints that I've discovered and marked down um, so the premise of this or the premise of this game is not so much like Ark Survival Evolved you will still do exploring gathering hunting mining that kind of thing but there's no tames in this game you instead will make um, your own rides um, spaceships hover ships that kind of thing and so here we've got my little base um, go inside this is kind of the landing area uh, we've got my hover vessel which is the um, the vehicle I use just for land it can only go you know on the x-axis and then I've got my space ship which can actually leave the planet which is pretty cool um, then I've got two turrets at the top um, for some reason they're not really doing much because as soon as you put down a generator in this game um, it sends waves of drones to attack your base um, and there haven't been drones for quite a while which is very interesting um, so right now they're just doing nothing um, coming inside my base it's very basic it's got your main generator um, which is used to make all sorts of things I've just made another light now that I want to put on top um, of my base and you I'm not gonna bore you with the details you collect all sorts of things in this game just like you do any other game most it'll be rock minerals um, but also it'll be um, rock minerals that you find out of the planet that you're on uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and place this light that I've made on top got my jetpack on I just can't go all the way yet here are my turrets one and number two and I just need a little bit of light to see where I'm going when I am on top of the roof so let's see and the nice thing is when you're placing down a structure you can actually rotate it um, like that or you know like that sometimes it's a little tricky to get it exactly the way you want but um, I think that looks okay I suppose if you're flying overhead you'll see that and um, yeah I don't want to put too many lights down in case uh, it lags the server or it lags my game at least I don't have a really amazing PC but it's good enough and uh, let's take the vehicles out um, another nice thing about this game is when you're building um, something you can build from scratch like I've done 
or you can actually just build a blueprint which is already made for you you just have to collect the resources um, so if you wanted to build your own hover vessel you would simply go into your generator which is over here and then you would select your building blocks and then you have a different variety of what kind of building block you want you cannot build a structure without um, one of these building blocks if you want to build from scratch so you have your base starter which is for your base your hover uh, for the hover vessel the small uh, vessel which is the one that can go out to space and then you've got your capital vessel and these are like the star trek star war size ships that you can build like they can be absolutely massive um, i haven't gotten to that level just yet um, and then you would go ahead and build some blocks i think it'll tell you for hover vessel it'll tell you it can be placeable on an hv which is hover vessel and you can use uh, steel blocks so you would use then these ones another cool thing that i like about this game is it gives you a color gun uh, which doesn't even use anything it's got no ammo you need to do and you just simply right click and it'll give you a whole bunch of options um, so if you want to go you know like that you can do like so or whatever you want to change it to you've got so many options um, and then you can also decide if you want small or medium I think small is enough for me because it's just the block that I need to color and then you also get a symbols and texture gun which is used to change the look of whatever block you're looking at um, for example I can go ahead and change this to a brick structure uh, if I wanted to do that and then I just need to recolor it as the initial one that it was oh, it doesn't want to do that okay so if you're using a texture structure you cannot recolor well I'm sure you can I've done it before you just can't recolor many of them so let me just check if this one works and okay cool so Apparently not everything can be colored in, but I know maybe this one. And then I just I just have to prove to myself that I'm not going crazy. Okay, good. So some things can be colored in, some things can't, and some things can slightly be altered. But we're going to go back to what we had previously, and I'm going to try not to give anyone any further headaches. Okay, cool. So... It's very difficult to introduce this game to people that haven't played it before. I didn't want to start out showing you what you do from the beginning because there are so many other videos like that. My buddy Axelwack actually has a video out like that and I will link it to the description if you would like to see what the game looks like when you start out. Okay, But for those of you that would like to see a little bit more, um, let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to go and get into my hover vessel. So you get in like that and i always like to have a bit of an outside view you push y for power and there we go we've got power now and uh yeah we can actually pretty much go around the planet really i mean you can really go far um in this hover vessel um it'll take you just a few minutes to get around the whole planet and it's mainly because i've managed to put on extra um thrusters there is just a small one in the middle and then later on I added on two larger ones and there's a whole bunch of other stuff on this um, I've put on my constructor which is the same one as you saw in my base but it's a small mobile one so I can make anything that I need on the fly if I need more ammunition for something or if I need more food I probably should eat right now I don't have much in here at the moment um, and then I've got on some Gatling guns which are manual only unfortunately I have to control them which is quite a problem because you can't really move the aiming reticle other than where your ship is looking so if there's an alien or if there's um, something coming at you from above you can't really go too high um, okay what else do we have on here and uh, we've got a fridge i'm pretty sure we've got a fridge yeah we got a little fridge here that one nothing in there at the moment and this is our ammo box you need to put an ammo box on top of your vessel so that your guns can draw ammunition from it it doesn't have to really be connected at all it just needs to be on on the same vessel uh, so yeah i also put on a light you can install lights if you want to um, and then this is great if you just need to get across 
um, on ground somewhere, uh, especially if there's a lot of water in the way, you can simply hover over it. And you can also see there's different deposits. Like I said, I'm not going to bore you too much with that. You can just simply go and um, have a look on another video if you like. Uh, but right now I'm just showing you what the game looks like, if it's your kind of thing. Um, I'm surprised that there aren't many people playing this. Um, so I guess in a way I'm trying to promote this game uh, to get more people on. And if you would like to play, um, like I said, feel free to come on to my Discord. Um, what's going on here? Okay. And um, on my Discord, we will give you access to the game, hosted by G Portal, as previously said. Okay, that's, yeah, okay. Cool. So, let me let this <laughs> calm down. And um, I guess now we can test out the small vessel. And this is one that I got from a blueprint. I did not build this myself. My previous one that I built got shut down and destroyed. It probably is still on the map somewhere. Um, okay, those those things you're hearing are probably spiders. So we're going to go ahead and put the... Uh, okay, that's not helpful. We're going to put the, uh, the guns back up. Okay, and take them out. They'd normally hover around here somewhere. Well, that's strange. I heard them definitely heard something I don't know that's why I had to build these um these gates and doors even though it's an outside area you get these little spiders that just seem to come out of nowhere and it's not that they do damage it's just that it really freaks me out <laughs> if I play a game and there's a lot okay well I guess we'll find out now won't we please don't kill me that'll be, just be embarrassing Okay, uh, so I think we'll take this thing out. First, let me just show you how you can build templates in this game. It's actually really complicated when you start, but pretty simple when you get used to it. So you'd go on to Blueprints. And when I started this game, I mean, this is the only way I thought you could build things. And I was like, okay, how do I build this? So anyway, you get your different categories. You get your base, which lets you choose from a host of pre-built blueprints that you can just simply put in the resources required and click build and then you put it down which is pretty cool you get a quite a few to start out with I mean the higher you go the more expensive they are so a good one would be you know the very first one but just bear in mind that once you place it down and you turn the power on uh, drones are gonna come to attack your base because anything that has a generator that's switched on except for the mobile ships um, the drones will be activated to come and attack uh, then you get different hover vessels. These are just great for going on land. You get quite a, a few good ones here. Um, small vessels. And then you get your capital vessels, which are gigantinormous. Absolutely huge. I don't want to think of how long it would take someone to actually build this. And the thing is, all of these are actually unique materials you can only get on another planet. Planod. <laughs> Another planet, excuse me, I've actually got the flu, so my um, my talking is a bit nasal. It's kind of throwing me off every now and then. But anyway, um, if you would want to build a blueprint template, you simply make sure you've got all the resources. You go into your inventory and you make sure you have them. And then you go to factory and then you put them into this block here, for example. Once you've done that, you will say start production. And the game will tell you once the total production time is counted down. And you'll then be able to select it uh, in your library and you'll click on spawn and then you can place it down and Bob's your uncle it's running up and running um, so that's what happened with this one I built this on the on the fly or I actually built this one with okay there they are <laughs> yeah I see them okay let's just go and kill them real quick I, I really hate those things I'm gonna use a shotgun for this okay there's another one Woo. Where did you come from? <laughs> Sorry about the uh, explosive volume there, guys. I think on edit I'll put a little, a little warning in. There's still one more there. I hate spiders. I really don't like spiders at all. Alright, so... As I was saying... Um, what was I saying again? All right. Um, so yeah, so that's how you spawn vehicles from blueprints. If you would like to build them yourself, you need the um, the block, and then you can add on um, the steel 
blocks and you can actually change them uh, which I find very very cool so it's not gonna work with concrete blocks I don't oh it will okay so this is how you build different shapes in this game you simply have a block so now it's a concrete block and if you want to change the shape you don't have to build different shapes you simply right click on the mouse um, and it will show you you know all different options that's how you make the corners and the ceiling corners you can do I mean there's so much you can do with this game um, whatever shape you want really and you can see just by that um, that you can actually design a really really nice base um, or even build your own spaceship um, so I'm just going to show you a little bit more about um, flying All right, so this is taking off uh, as you can see I've got this horrible thing on top of the ship which actually wasn't there initially it looked really nice and pretty but I've put that on because that is the warp drive which is going to allow me to go to different planets um, that are far away but for now what I'll do is I'll show you um, what this game looks like once you leave a planet so if you don't want to get spoiled um, and you want to experience this yourself I would recommend stopping the video uh, but if you don't really mind then just um, follow along and we're gonna go into outer space as you can see the difference with this one and the hover one is the hover vessel is this one has one at the bottom one thruster which helps you reach space and um, it, it I won't say it leaves the planet very seamlessly I mean there is a bit of a jittering and a jarring as you can see here when you leave the atmosphere uh, there's a bit of a loading screen I, I would love it if it was seamless like uh, No Man's Sky but it does a good job I mean we're out pretty much out of the atmosphere and as you can see as these graphics are not you know the um, most detailed it is really beautiful um, how they make it look with space and you can see the uh, the asteroid belt that goes around this planet which is pretty cool so there's always a moon nearby your starting planet which you can and fly to and mine from um, let's just see if we can pull it up quickly okay so that's my main planet that I'm on and then the moon is oh it's like right behind me okay so we're gonna turn and it should be down here somewhere uh, no how am I missing this oh probably would help if I was facing the right way Okay, maybe it's behind the planet. Okay, I'm definitely not doing this <laughs> right today. Okay, so it's down this way and a little bit further, I guess. And for now, um, you will just use normal fly. Um, you won't need any warping or anything just to, you know, go a few hundred kilometers or whatever. Um, there we go. Okay, there was a lot of stuff in the way so this is the planet we're going to um, it does take a little bit of time to get there so I will bring you back when we're closer all right so we have approached the moon and I just wanted to go to the side where it's a bit lighter so there's some Sun on there and we'll begin our descent oh, what's happening okay so that was a little smoother than taking off another planet and this is a moon it's not a planet it's a moon of the planet that I was on and basically on here you can get um, a lot of materials that you couldn't get on the main planet uh, which will help you you know find other galaxies so if I press on the map you'll see this is the planet I'm on but there's also a whole sector um, Teladar is the um, planet I was on and the moon is not going to be shown your box it's in that system but you can go to at least three other uh, places what I want to show you is something that I find quite incredible um, you can actually see that planet from where you are on the moon and it still is rotating in real time so I found that quite interesting whoops I don't have my helmet on don't know how I was breathing and um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this game uh, or this video, either or or both, uh, please feel free to like, subscribe and share with your friends. And if this looks like a game that you would like to play, uh, feel free to join my Discord 
and we can get you set up in this game. Um, there's a lot more that I do want to show you, um, so I'll see how the uh, <laughs> I'll see how the reception is on this one first, and um, if enough people like it and ask for more, then I'll maybe go into like a creative building with this game. I think that could be quite fun and exciting. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really am grateful for the hundred subs. Um, sorry that I don't I don't have my face cam on, uh, and I do sound a bit flourish. It's because I am so. Um, that's the best I can do for now. But um, yeah, thanks guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.